so hi today we're going to be doing an act passage i'll have the link in the description so you can follow along so this is the entire passage as you can see it's pretty lengthy but what we're going to do is skip straight to the questions and read an answer as we go because time is of the essence here so let's look at the question which of the following best describes how the scientists how the two scientists explain how craters are made from europa's surface so basically this passage has to do with craters. So I'm gonna to skip to scientist two because it looks a little bit shorter and see what it says. So no deep liquid exists on Europa. The heat generated by the gravitational tides is quickly lost to space because of Europa's small size that shows by its very low temperature. It's low temperature. The surface features resemble flowing glaciers. There's large amounts of liquid water are not required. And there's thin layers of ice. Few meteorite craters are observed because of Europa's very thin atmosphere surface ice eventually sublimes okay so it's sublimation into this atmosphere quickly eroding and removing any craters so we know scientist 2 is sublimation so we can cross out a and d so we're going to see if scientist 1 thinks it's filled in by water or if it's worn smooth by wind so again they also say a deep ocean of liquid water exists a gravitational field produces tides that causes the heating where the liquid can exist the numerous cracks and dark bands on the oh, sorry, surface ice closely resemble the appearance of thawing ice covering the polar oceans on Earth. Only a substantial amount of circulating liquid water can crack and rotate such large slabs of ice. The few meteorite craters that exist are shallow and have been smoothed by liquid water. Okay, so that means they've been filled in by water. So the answer is B, or you can just fill that in. Number two, according to the information provided, which of the following descriptions of Europa would be most accepted by both scientists? So they don't talk about the diameter at all, and Jupiter is only mentioned in the first one, so that's no. Europa has a surface made of rocky material, no. They say right here that it's smoothed by liquid water, so the surface is smooth, so no. Europa has a surface temperature of 20, no. It says right here, the surface temperature is that, so it's not. So H is really the only one left, and it makes sense because completely covered by a layer of ice. They say right here, the thawing ice covering the polar oceans, and then large amounts of liquid water are not required, so it means there's ice. So number three. With which of the following statements about the conditions on Europa or the evolution of Europa's surface would both scientists want to most likely agree? The surface of Europa is shaped there we go. It's shaped by movement of ice. I would say this is a maybe because talk about how ice is, again, how thawing ice is covering the polar oceans. There's large slabs of ice. Over here, liquid water is not required. Sublimes, the craters, flowing glaciers. So I would say this is maybe. It's covered with meteorite crater. It's covered with meteorite craters. No. We talk about how it's covered with dark bands, numerous cracks, and it says right here it removes any craters. So no. It's the same temperature as the Arctic, oh, sorry, the same temperature as the Arctic Ocean, there's no indication of that, has remained unchanged. No, it literally says here they rotate, so they are changing, so the answer is A. Number four, which of the following statements about the meteorite craters on Europa would be most consistent with both scientists' views? So no meteorites have struck. No. Meteorite craters, once formed, are then smoothed or removed. I think this is correct because, look, it's a surface ice sublimes, quickly eroding and removing any craters that may have formed. So the craters have formed. And then it says right here, the few meteorite craters that exist are shallow and have been smoothed up. So they do exist. They've just been smoothed or removed by Earth's surfaces. Scientist 2 explains that ice sublimes to water vapor and enters Europe's atmosphere. If ultraviolet light then broke those water molecules apart, which of the following gases would be most expected to find in Europa's atmosphere? So this, I think, is just like a basic science knowledge question. So water vapor is just water, so it's going to be H2O. So you'd expect to see oxygen molecules because it's oxygen. Again, these are just some basic science things you should know. I have a whole video linked in my ACT tips video that you should watch to be familiar with this. So moving on to the last two questions. Again, I know I am going fast, but you will need to go this fast on the day of the test as ACT science goes very, very quickly. Okay. Based on the information in scientists' one view, which of the following materials must be present on Europa if a magnetic field is to be generated on Europa? So we're talking about the magnetic field, okay. 
So here's magnetic field Jupiter. Jupiter's magnetic field swimming past Europa would interact with the salty deep ocean. Okay, so we need a salty deep ocean. So I would say we need dissolved salts. Assume scientists view about the similarities between Europa's surface features and flowing glaciers on Earth is correct. Based on this assumption and the information provided, Earth's glaciers would be least likely to exhibit which of the following. Okay, so scientist two is correct. So it says right here that quickly eroding and it removes any craters. So I do not think we would find any craters as they're all being removed because we're based, assuming scientist two is correct. Again, this is about five minutes and 40 seconds. On the thing, I think you should take about five to six minutes per passage per sound questions so you're moving as efficiently as possible.